Hello everyone, welcome to Little Gator Game, or Lil Gator Game. This is a game I played the demo of a bit ago. It's like a cute little adorable platformer, and I thought we needed something a little wholesome on the channel um, after everything else we've been playing recently, and this is adorable, and I'm very, very interested in it, so let's go ahead and start. That's enough laying around, I want to do something fun! Big Sis will play with me, I wonder where she went. So yeah, people that saw me play the demo for this, it's incredibly wholesome and adorable. I mean, look at it. I'm a little, little gator, and I'm going to run around and do little gator things. Wee! Yeah, these things! Oh, I haven't been on one of these in forever. Although, the, they're, they're the absolute most amazing thing in the world when you're a kid, though. Alrighty. And then there's this little thing that kids mostly just go in the middle of and kind of chill. Got a good old seesaw. Is there actually physics? Oh no, the ground is lava! Ah! Yes, it is! <laughs> alright, alright, ground is lava. Ground is lava, let's go. Uh-huh. Let's, let's do it. Yeah. And then I can jump from this one to this one. Yeah, and we can just go all, all around here. Alrighty, well, we made it safely. How adorable. God, I'm already enamored. Big sis, big sis, big sis! I'm bored. What are you doing? <sighs> Just looking at an article for that Legend of Hero game. Puzzles, monsters, the usual. No, I don't want to read about it anymore. Can it be out already? I want to be the legendary hero! You and me both. Uh, but we don't need single player Legend of Hero. We want something we can play together. How hard is it even to be a legendary hero anyway? You just need a sword and shield. And a hat. Of course, silly pointy hat. You have to be clad in green? Well, I'm already green, so... You know, already got that covered. I am green! Great, you're already halfway there. As a matter of fact, hold still right there for a minute. Yes. Beautiful. I'm ready to go. I look... So cool! It's like you jumped right out of the magazine. Now, as a tradition, you must choose a heroic name. What about Heroi Heroson Hero Meister the <laughs> Third? Okay, but this is what all the NPCs are going to call you for the whole game. Your name can be as silly or as serious as you want, as long as it means something to you. Every hero has a name. Well, considering we are naming our hero and this is what everyone will call me, we're gonna go with my actual name. And look, we even got- we even got Navi hanging out there. And look, it's Wolf Link! There we go, Quasimofo. So the name you want? Careful, names can stick. Yeah, I'm sure. I could name myself Thief, like you can get yourself named in. <laughs> Link's Awakening. Yep, I'm sure! <clears throat> Quasimofo. I am Quasimofo, Hero of Legend! Pleasure to meet you, Quasimofo. I need some kind of quest, but what? I need to get you up to speed. Set the stakes with something dramatic. A hundred billion years of darkness! <laughs> a little over dramatic, but I can work with that. How about... It all started... One hundred billion years ago. A brave hero set out on a quest to find something fun to do. With the help of their big sis, they made a whole fantasy game with rules and everything. They also made a pact to last all of playtime, no work allowed. But one day, after many a playtime, Big Sis went away for school, leaving the little hero to play alone. As time marched on, it seemed like the hero would never get to play with Big Sis ever again. Until one day when Big Sis came home for fall break. Maybe now they could play again, just like they used to. Oh, It was like just yesterday, huh? Haha, <laughs> yep, those hundred billion years really flew by. Kinda makes you want to jump up and do it all again right now, doesn't it? Well, I really have to finish this group assignment. Aw, oh, come on, you've been working on that all day. I barely got you to come out here with me. Yeah, sorry kiddo, it's a tough project. Plus, I haven't heard from the other members in a while, so I'm having to pull a lot of extra weight myself. God, I... Oof, I do not miss those days. But, uh, don't worry. I've had to punch above my weight before. This project doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, you're my amazing big sis. One little assignment is nothing. You'll finish this thing before we even know it. I believe in you 100%. Okay, here we go. And yeah, so it looks like it's going to be similar to uh, what I did in the demo, but that was so long ago, I remember basically nothing about it at this point, so... It'll be fun. And now she'll never finish it in a million years. 
Dude, tell me she at least looked at the decorations. Those took forever to put up. Not even a peek, but thanks for trying, guys. Oh, sorry, Quasimofo. I wish there was something else we could do. It's okay, Jill. We all did our best. We can make monsters and treasures all day long, but we can't play the game for her. Avery, that's it! I'll play the game for her! <gasps> they said it couldn't be done. Care to elaborate? Right now, all this stuff is made just loose... We made is just loose cardboard lying around. Empty pots beside empty waterfalls that don't even have any cool secret caves behind them. Yeah, true. There's no story, no drama. We need to put it all to use. Legendary hero, an epic quest. We have to show her what she's missing. Are you sure we should be trying to distract her from a school project? I've been doing college level work recently trying to get into that prep school. It's really hard. It's no problem for my sis. It just takes a million years and I can't wait that long. She'll have like 10 million years to finish it later. I'm entirely sure that math tracks. It tracks. Just a thought, have you tried having a grown-up conversation with her about all this? You know, before attempting to gamify the whole island? We have a rule about that, no grown-up stuff during playtime. The only way to get her to play is by playing. Just enough to get her hooked again. Please... You already had me a drama. <laughs> I guess I can make my study break a little longer to help out. Well, if everyone else is on board and you really think this will help you, I trust you. Yes, alright, let's get to work! Each of you will make a quest for me to complete, and reward me with one of the hero items. Avery, your quest is for the hero's hat. Hat, quest, got it, bye. Martin, you'll handle the shield. Gotcha. And Jill, the sword, leave it to me. Exactly, and I'll play through the game myself to show my sister how much fun we're having. I'll do the quest, become the hero, and win over Big Sis. Sounds like a plan that might almost work, possibly. You're right, it will definitely work. It's not what I said. Don't worry, Scales. We'll ace this assignment for sure. Yeah. Hey, sis, I'm gonna go play with my friends. Just a normal run-of-the-mill day on the island. Nothing special or exciting happening to my knowledge. Uh, okay, kiddo. Have fun, then. Oh, I will. <laughs> Friend quests! Jill, Martin, and Avery. So this is the whole gimmick with this quest. We're trying to convince our sister that is too preoccupied with school to uh, play this game that we made on the island for us. It's such an adorable idea. The humor in writing definitely reminds me of something like, um, uh, Frog Detective, for sure, especially with the anthropomorphic animals we're playing as and everything, so. It's super adorable, I love it so much, so let's get in. Oh no, dangerous beasts. You hero, please, you must help. These vile creatures have attacked me, a defenseless NPC. Do you have a weapon, hero? A uh, weapon? Oh, no, I am lacking a sword. Do you know where I can get one? Ah, Scaled Traveler, I have heard many a tale of a mythical sword. The stories claim it to be deep in the forest, hidden away in a magical grove. Only heroes of true heart are able to draw the sword from its impenetrable base. That sounds difficult. Yeah, I'm sure you can manage it. You're the hero, after all. Please, you must retrieve the sword and save me. Oh no, dangerous beasts! I gotta find the sword. Let's go. This will also be a pretty short adventure, as far as I understand, so... Please don't jump on the rocks. You can't stop me. Can't stop me. God, look at all these plants. We got a piranha plant up there. We got a treant. All these slimes. Please don't jump up the rock ledges. Oh, yeah. The jumping's very responsive. This game controls like a dream. There it is. Got sick. Wow, the magical special sword. It's, it's a stick. Yeah, I guess it was pretty short notice. Quick, I have to defeat these enemies and help Jill. Uh, sword is circle. Yeah. Well, oh boy, junk. I should probably hang on to all these bits and pieces of stuff I'm breaking. Maybe we can recycle it into something new. I got craft stuff. Ooh, that sounds neat. Okay, I don't remember exactly what this is used for. Maybe like crafting cosmetics or something. Uh huh. God, there's so much stuff to. I'll I'll get over there to you in a moment. There's so many things to murder, you see. What's this pot got? More craft stuff. Okay, I can get a ton of craft stuff just running around slapping everything. Okay. Oop, don't want to hit you, tree. I'm sorry. Oh, please help. I'm surrounded still. Uh, <laughs> you're just doing homework. Use a special sword to help me. Hi. What are we doing? Hey, what's up? Hero, you have to help me! Hey, you're doing homework. No, it's fine, just 
Ah, enemies! Oh no! Beat them! Uh, please help! <laughs> okay. There we go, I did it. Help! Oh, oh, is that all of them? Wow, well, super cool moves, hero. You've completed my quest. I mean, yeah, thanks, but you're going back to schoolwork. I thought you were playing. I am, I, I promise. Just trying to squeeze in a little practice quiz on the side. I'm a little stretched thin right now, studying for that prep school. I don't want to waste any time. But the second you need me, I'll switch gears again. Okay, well, see you later, I guess. Says, says, check it out. I found a special sword in the forest, and I've rescued Jill from scary monsters. Very cool. Don't break anything. Haha, <laughs> okay. She loved it. Okay, what's next? Oh, I should check in on Martin. I think he's in the sandy area? Martin, in the sandy area. Put that phone away. We don't have time for phones. We gotta cut grass. Wow, you must have quite the swing to be able to cut grass with a stick like that. That's pretty amazing, little gator friend. Oh, you can't actually get the stuff from it. Interesting. Well, there's another pot. What happens if I jump in the water? We can swim. You know? Um... I, for half a second, expected that we wouldn't be able to go into the water, but I am a gator. So... <laughs> I'm so used to video game characters not being able to go in water, especially in something like this, but no, they were like... Okay, it would make no sense if our, if our gator could not swim. So we're gonna allow the gator to swim. Ooh, what's that out there? Are those buoys just marking the edge of the map? Probably, right? I don't think it's something I can destroy. Oops, wrong way. Yep. No. We can't swim away. I still have a quest to complete. Yes, that we do. Can I chop the sign? I can smack the sign, but not chop it. Alright, sorry. I'm just gonna explore like a like a madman now. It's it's what I do. Bones? <gasps> a skeleton! You will die! I jump at the skeleton and trip it up and then stab my sword into its skull, slaying it for good. Yay! <laughs> so adorable. This really just, I don't know, it takes me back to being a kid and running around, you know, just doing uh, stupid stuff in the woods with my friends. You know, role-playing and things like that. It's, it's fun. It's fun. And it's much harder to do that sort of stuff as an adult. Alright, what's up with you? You're not the one I'm supposed to check on, I believe. Hmm, where could it be? Can't find it anywhere. You looking for something? Yeah, there's a stick around here. It's my favorite stick. Uh, I feel like I left it right here, in the center of this conspicuous opening. Uh, stick, stick who? Uh, stick? No, what, what stick? I've never seen a stick before in my life. Oh really? All right. Well, at least I found this cool wood sword. I guess this will have to be my new stick. Eck! That must be the sword Jill made for me. Anyway, see you around, I guess. Oh no! Drat! Did Jill notice I got the wrong sword? <laughs> Okay, I better craft a new one before she notices. Oh. Okay, C wait, craft? Um, it's telling me to press that button. I don't know what button that is on my control. Okay, wow, it's the share button on the PS5 controller. All natural gator. Hats aren't always comfortable when you have fins. Alright, um, it's like a real sword minus the sharpness and plus a few splinters. Okay, so I'll be able to make that once I get more things. I need more craft bits, though. Alright, well, there's a pot over there. The pots seem like they usually have a pretty good amount of stuff in them. So let's grab this. Give. Hi? Destroy the water! Ah, it's so slippery. All these are memories. Oh. Oh no, the water has evil in it! Oh. God, this game's gonna... It's, it's too cute. It's too cute. There's nothing you just talked about. There's no secrets behind the waterfall. There really isn't. What about this one? I refuse to believe. Oh my god. Terrible. No secrets behind the waterfall. Maybe maybe it's down there. I, maybe I just checked the wrong waterfalls, you know? That could very well be the case. Whoop. Up here. Okay, what's going on up here? Someone's like hiking? What is this? Hello, sign. Please don't climb the cliff face. I will do that. You, you, you bet your ass I will be doing that. Okay, I have enough for my, uh, sword now. There we go. We are equipped with an actual sword. Hello. Hey, have you seen? It is I, the bracelet shop. Look upon my array of beauties. 
Do you not desire them, covet them, hmm? Tell me, what is it that you truly want? Oh my god, these bracelets that everybody wore. The, like, little gel bracelets. These were so popular when I was in middle school. Oh god. I just accidentally tugged on my mic a little bit. Um, let me make sure my recording and everything's good. Alright, the recording appears to be good. You can never, uh, be too safe, so... Um, I'm looking for my friend Avery. They're a frog. Yes, the energetic one. They've ascended to greater heights. But do not fear, for you can follow in their footsteps. With the help of my bracelets. You're saying a bracelet will help me climb cliffs? They are bracelets of power. They imbue you with strength. The strength to keep going, to tell the world who you are. To ascend over your every obstacle. To hold tight to the truth in your heart. Okay, okay, I'll take one. Fine. Woohoo! As I thought, you desire my bracelets more than anything else in this world! Mayhaps I could be persuaded to part with my beauties for a price. You carry confetti and cardboard in tow, no? You want the scraps of our broken crafting stuff? But it's just a bunch of junk. Ah, oh, but they hold value to you, do they not? Then they also hold value to me! Because I can take that value away from you! Ho ho ho! Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only a hundred? No thanks. Boohoo! My beauties yearn for you! Oh. Okay, I'll be back later, weirdo. Alrighty. Well then, let's go get to the sandy area. That's where it mentioned that uh, our next friend was. So, let's head on over there. Ooh, there's a pot there, though. I need pot. I require it. Um, how do get pot? Yeah, just do, just do a little bit of cheeky platforming. There we go. I climbed up the throat of the world with uh, my horse in Skyrim back in the day. I can I can do some some weird platforming. Fun fact about that: when I first played Skyrim, um, I didn't actually know how to get to the throat of the world for the main quest. So there, you actually go to the other side of the mountain, um, and there's a path that just leads straight up. What I actually did is from the White Run side when I was when I was little. I was like, I can't figure out how to get up there. So what did I do? I say when I was little, I was a teenager, but I was apparently a stupid one. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I used my horse to just climb up the throat of the world that way. Um, because I was like, yeah, no, this will work. And I basically came out right where the troll is, up the top by the Greybeards. Hilarious story of me originally playing um, Skyrim. Just, just one of those memories I have. Another funny thing from Skyrim I remember that I did was um, all of my junk, I hoarded it under the bridge in Whiterun, like, as soon as you walk in, just every junk item that I picked up, I would just put under the bridge. So there was just a ton of garbage sitting under the bridge in Whiterun, and it was just my secret little goblin stash. I have some funny stories about that, and just my early gaming history in general. Alrighty, let's go. So it said the sandy area. Are you just talking about the beach? Because I came back over here because there were some more um, slimes for me to murder. Um, and then there's this, of course. E. Take out the treant. It appears that there's a pot up there. Ooh, that one took multiple hits. Oh wow, tanky. Took out the piranha plants. We can go check in with Sis in a second, too. Beautiful. I wonder if there's an, there, there's got to be an achievement for like destroying all of these cutouts. I imagine there's more currency in the game than you actually need to get everything, but I could see there being an achievement for just chopping all the stuff up. It's so nice playing this, it reminds me of playing Tinykins, which is another wholesome little cute game. At least for most of the runtime that I, uh, that I played recently. That one was very adorable. And this just reminds me of that. It gives me the same kind of feelings. Just the feelings of being a kid again, happiness, all that jazz. I need up there. But I don't think I can make that jump. We must need a double jump or something. Don't remember if that's something I got in uh, the demo or not. Yeah, I think we need a double jump for that. Okay, we'll keep that treasure chest in mind. I wish I could like, do I have a map? Uh, does not appear so. Interesting. Alrighty. I gotta find Martin. I was wondering if that was, was your name. I thought to myself, I'm like, wasn't the other friend's name Martin? But then I was like, no, I must just be thinking of Martin Bauer from Pentiment. <laughs> but no, that would not be the case. Okay, so yeah, we want to go over there. We've been over there. I'm trying to go th through this in a manner that makes sense to my brain, which probably makes sense to no one else, because they're like, what are you doing? But hey, I'm having a good time running around as a kid again. Beautiful. 
all of these sticks and stuff. Slayed another, uh, slayed another skeleton. I tackled it to the ground and then thrust my sword into its skull. I do a lot of thrusting my sword into their skulls, but it, I imagine it'd be the best way to kill a skeleton, you know? Get rid of that. Okay, so I do have enough for a bracelet now, so... You've got this, Quasimuffo. Uh, are you sure? I'm pretty high up. Don't worry, the legendary blade can climb any height. Oh yeah, I'm a hero. Yeah. Oh. It's so adorable seeing their little interactions with each other. Okay, sandy area. This looks like the sandy area to me. Hmm. So we came across there. There's that, which looks like a tightrope that I can walk across. There you are, Martin. Okay. Good, good, good. Well, we got some slimes to kill. So, gotta, gotta do some more of this. Give me all of your bits and bobs and pieces. I like how I can get bits and bobs from just cutting the grass, too. They didn't even- they didn't even make the grass. But I can still get cardboard cutout pieces to use in my crafts. Alright, hello. I imagine seeing, like, all of the memories and stuff is an achievement as well. Uh, okay, there's a tightrope we can walk across. There's... Whatever this is. What? Oh, God! Oh, 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 I remember these. Okay, okay. Yeah, this, I think, is your challenge. Yeah, the little... I like Quasimuffo. I've got the shield ready. Let me go grab it. What? No? You can't just give me things. It has to be for a reward, for a quest. Doing quests is the only way to become the hero and for my sis to play with me. Right. Talking to her is out of the question. Completely out of the question. We went over this. Playtime. No grown-up stuff. Quest. Drama. Fun. But maybe if that doesn't work, we can try talking to her? Too bad it's going to work perfectly and we won't need to. <laughs> Fine. You want a quest? How about a fetch quest? Fetch quests are the best quests. Oh, I mean, uh... Sure do love me a fetch quest. So go over there and grab that thing. I need it. For reasons. Huh. Well, yes, okay. Quest time. Fetch the pot. <laughs> okay, so what is this? Bum. 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 Ow, I can't go fast enough. Do I get, like, a sprint or something? I think- I think I recall that in the demo. That we needed, like, sprint or something to do that. And I get a sprint by getting a bracelet, I believe. So... Yeah, we might have to wait on that. Alright, let's just go over here and grab the pot first and foremost. And then I can go up and get a bracelet. Got it! It's... a pot. Weird. I wonder what plan- what Martin's plan is for this. I wonder... What could Martin's plan possibly be with this pot when I am in need of a shield? Here you go, Martin. I got the pot. Reward time. Wow, amazing. You went over there and grabbed a thing and came back. Truly a task worthy of being called heroic, so here's your reward, hero. Pot lid? This is... Martin, this is the thing I just gave you. No, it's not. It's your shield. Really? Yeah. Shield. Wow, a shield. Amazing. In addition to defensive capabilities, it also makes a great sled. I can't wait to find a hill and slide down it on this pot lid. Or, I mean, shield. Well done, hero. You've completed my quest. Yeah, thanks a lot, Martin. I'll go tell your sister you wanted to play with you. Not gonna happen, bye! Sis, I found this weird round thing. Weird, right? But my friend revealed himself to be an alchemist. He transmuted it into a shield! Incredible. Yeah! Phew, okay. All that's left is Avery. They've gone and climbed the mountain, haven't they? Alright, we gotta go to Avery. So, shield. And we can do this. So this is what I needed it for. Okay, well we did that. I missed one of the bits. But we got it, cool. I love that you can just sled with the shield. Yeah, I thought we got like a, like a dash ability or something. Uh, was what I was thinking, but no. It's this. And we can only go down the hills with it, specifically. Huh. Okay, I missed a little bit. Oops, wrong way. I know. I love that the stuff actually vacuums into me. I still have a quest to complete. I know, I know. Alright, so we gotta get up the mountain now. Beautiful, previous best. Hit it. Ooh, that actually worked. I didn't think it was actually gonna work. Hit it. Here we go. And that's a pot for me. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now I can get your stuff. Give me your garbage. 
Mm, it is I, the bracelet shop. Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only a hundred. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Here, take my beauty and make it yours. I got a bracelet. It gives me the strength to climb walls. With only one, my stamina is pretty low. With more, I could climb longer. But do not be mistaken, one is never enough. Look upon my array of beauties, imagine the strength they lend me. If you still yearn for my beauties, seek me out. You will find me where you least expect. Goodbye. That was an interesting teleport animation. So yeah, toward wall, climb. Okay, so yeah, we can climb like in a... Uh, I mean, obviously the thing I'm going to think of is Breath of the Wild, considering this game is obviously very inspired by Zelda. Um, and it makes sense too, because we, we have the shield sled as well. So, okay, so it wasn't a double jump we got in the demo. It was, um, the ability to climb walls like this. So with that, I think I can get that treasure chest, yeah? I think I recall that treasure chest being the last thing I got in the demo. So, this has been a nice, uh, refresher on everything here. Well, if I can find, uh, that character again, we can at least get some more bracelets. But, uh, for now, let's try to get this treasure, why don't we? Would be hilarious if we ended the first episode of this at the same exact spot that I ended the demo all that time ago. Yep, now we can get this. Die! 81. Beautiful. Alrighty, we can go for a little bit longer. We're not quite at uh, 30 minutes yet, so... Let's go see if we can uh, get up to Avery. They are hanging out up there, so... Got to get to the top of the mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, so... Up here... We're good? We're good. And climb that. Can I make it all the way to the top of the mountain? I honestly kind of can. Uh, there's a pot over there. Actually, I think I remember running around in the mountains a little bit, too. I remember I played this demo for quite a while because I was having such a fun time with it. So I, I think it was a pretty long uh, episode for a demo for me. There's Avery. Can I walk on these things? I sure can. Well, how about we do some of this? I need more bits and bobs, after all. Bang, bang. Bang. Just get all of the cardboard cutouts. Getting all the cardboard cutouts would be quite the... Quite the ask, I must say. That'd be a lot of work. What is this? Behold, there's nothing here. <laughs> Great, thank you. But what's this? The secreto? No? No, it doesn't appear to be so. How unfortunate. Maybe... can maybe use some help here. Never mind, there is something. Kinda stuck. Free at last. Ew, freedom. Gerald! Wow, look, it's Gerald! From Subnautica! No, there's only a few people that will actually get that. <laughs> yeah, what the heck happened? Well, I was just standing here minding my own business, meditating, eyes closed, completely motionless, blending in with nature when suddenly these pieces of cardboard appeared around me. Oops, that's my fault. Me and my friends placed these all over the island. Guess we got carried away. <laughs> sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I would have broken out myself, but after staring at the designs of these creatures long enough, I fell in love. The simple, elegant shape, the exquisite color, the lifeless eyes staring into the void. Couldn't bring myself to harm such an image. Well, I, I don't have the same issue. Only wish there was a way to bring that image to life. Oh, if only. Anyway, I must take my leave. Okay, well, we run into each other again. Maybe you could help with the game? Mayhaps. Only time will tell. Hmm. Slimes have quite a look to them, huh? Excuse me? Slime cap? Yes. We must. The perfect disguise for slime conventions. Look at me! Oh, oh it jiggles too. Oh, this game is so adorable. This game is so stinking adorable. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. This is the kind of stuff... Yes, I play my I play my serious adult games and I play my RPGs and stuff, but you know what? This kind of stuff always makes me so happy. It's so much fun. I just get to be a kid again. That's the best part. Yay. And it's so colorful and everything. Ah, <sighs> You'll love to see it. I will always, always be a variety channel. I can never lean into one particular genre. If I did lean into one particular genre, it would have to just be wholesome games. <laughs> that would be the genre. 
Uh, okay, there's more mountain over here. Hello, die rock. They, they're smiling at me and I'm murdering them. I feel kind of bad. Kinda. Die, die. Can I reach this? No, cannot. Need a little bit more height before I can do that. That's a graveler. I just killed a graveler. I'm sorry, graveler. Uh, so yeah, I've like basically walked completely around Avery just to explore everything else but Avery. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? Food. You're serving food, huh? Okay. Sorry, I gotta collect all the things. It's an obsession of mine, you see. Uh-huh, fall down here. Ooh, so much stuff. This is like a little path through here that I can take, yeah. Nita. Well, I'm gonna talk to this character that's just kind of running in place here. Hello, fellow mountain climber. These bracelets sure work great, don't they? Uh, I guess so. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. They're just bracelets, right? Might be placebo. Not a chance! I myself am, of course, a proficient mountain climber. But when that frightful character told me they could help you better, I bought one. Heck, I bought four of them. Now look at me. I can climb anything. Go anywhere. You, fellow mountain climber, will, we will have a climb off. I will traverse this mountain and hide amongst its peaks. If you think your meager one bracelet is good enough to match my abilities, prove it and find me amongst the mountains. Okay. Well, I would like to find you amongst the mountains. Maybe we finish this up and then this can be the final thing we do this episode. I mean, luckily I have the ability to jump. So... It makes uh, the whole climbing thing a little bit easier, because even though my stamina bar is very limited, I can't just jump to make up for that. So we do have that going for us. Uh-huh. Well, there's a pot right there that I would like to get. Where are you at? There you are. Okay. Well, I know where you're at, and I also saw that treasure chest over there, so... We can go ahead and pick that up as well! Damn it. I'm a failure to my family. I can't even climb the mountains. Alrighty. Boom. There we go. Wonderful. Alright, so now... Whoops. Let me get my stamina back. Now we just go over there. Sorry, sorry, Avery. Avery's probably sitting over there tapping their foot like... What, what are you doing? What are you doing? What is taking you so long? I have been sitting here for so long, and you're just- you're just standing there. Walking around, destroying every single cardboard cutout that we set. I mean, at least they probably feel like I didn't waste their time. I am actually destroying all of the cardboard cutouts, so... I found you. Ah, fellow mountain climber, you found me. What took you so long? Bet you think you're quite the hotshot now, having traversed these treacherous cliffs. I thought you said hot shit. <laughs> Little do you know, you have a lot to learn. You have learned the art of ascent, yes. However, you're quite lacking in the art of descent. Allow me to demonstrate. Art of descent. Oh, okay, you said ascent and descent. I'm good. So, have you learned from my example? I... I guess? Ha! Huh. It requires much practice to achieve this level of mastery. Go, and perhaps one day you will measure up to my abilities. I... I think I know what this is. Ragdoll. Channel the power of the ragdoll. Any game that lets you ragdoll is amazing. <laughs> I could just ragdoll. Oh, that's amazing. What a fantastic feature. Just give your character the ability to just ragdoll themselves off a cliff. Ragdoll physics are the best, okay? They're the absolute best. Oop. Are you a dragon and I'm sitting up there? Climb, climb, climb! Uh, but don't tell anyone I let you. Okay. Yep. Okay, so we've made it up here before. I don't even have any bracelets. How did I make it up here? The hero beats the mountain. I did it. We should do this every year. No, every month. Every day. Your sword looks way cooler than mine. All right, so for the, for the end of the video, why don't we just ragdoll ourselves off the highest point here? Geronimo! <laughs> That's so cool! <laughs> oh, what a fantastic game. I'm so happy I decided to play this, so... 
Alrighty, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Little Gator Game, and I'll see you next time for some more.